Hello again, everybody. So yesterday, my wife wanted to go out to Cracker Barrel to get their pancakes. Uh, she said something about their pancakes just as much better than any place else, so that's where we went. If it keeps her from putting a pillow over my head in the middle of the night, I'm going to give her her pancakes. Now, while we were there, they, <clears throat> they went in and it was a 10 minute wait, but they only had like 7 tables. And they had like 10 or 15 tables that hadn't been cleared. So my wife was just going, why? She, didn't, she couldn't understand why nobody wants to work. Now I did a video on this very topic not too long ago. I said, baby, it's not necessarily that people don't want to work. It's why would you want to come back to an industry that turned its back on you? They kicked you to the curb via, it was all governments uh, doing. They're the ones that said you guys had to shut down. You can't have customers coming in. Why would you want to go back to it? Number two, there's not as many people going out to eat as there was before all this stuff started. Um, not every case, but in some cases, they're not tipping as well either. So, why would you want to? Ask yourself that. Why would you want to go back to a hospitality industry that, at the flip of a switch, you can see how quickly they shut it down and you had no way to support your family. Now you're trying to find some other type of work. Um, this is an okay job for somebody that two people working in the family and you can survive off of one income. Uh, you're not going to be living the way that you were before, but you can survive off of one income and not have too much to change. Forgive me, guys. Uh, it's still morning. I'm up coffee. Mm. America Prepping Academy. Drink up that knowledge. Shameless plug. So, yeah, why would you go back to it? You never know when they're going to shut down again. Um, you're never going to know what the requirements are to go back into it. Well, you're going to know what the requirements are to get back into the job, but do you want to do that? I mean, being a waitress is a very hard job, but it's not a high-skill job. It's like being a fry cook, it's not a high-skill job. It's not like you're the chef of a five-star restaurant. That takes a little bit more skill, culinary skills, but taking something out of a freezer that's hard-cooked and dropping it into a, a vat of oil and pulling it out saying, here you go, that's not skill. So... That's my take on that. It's... I wouldn't want to go back to that type of job. It's raining a little bit harder, guys. I screwed up a little bit more. Y'all can hear it. Um, yeah, so... I will say this, too. This is not really the topic I was talking about. This morning, I went and dropped off paperwork so that... I can get back to work, hopefully starting Monday, if they get everything put back into work. I was cleared medically to go back, uh, which makes me happy, so now I can actually start getting out and doing some more stuff. And, uh, so I dropped off that paperwork. Now on the way back, when I left out, it was dark, but on the way back, the sun was coming up. If you look off to the east, it was absolutely a beautiful sunrise. It was a, not a dark yellow, it was a really light yellow. I'm assuming it's because the clouds, it's just not a uh, color that you see very often. But off to the west, it was really dark because we've got a lot of storms coming through Nashville today. But at the same time, it was raining. I got to see the sunrise and I saw a rainbow. All three at the same time. I thought, wow, that is just absolutely gorgeous. So, kind of off topic. But, mmm, knowledge. American Prepping Academy. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to throw that out there too. So, second video of the day. Hope you guys got something out of it. Think about why are you going to want to go back to the job that you were doing if they turned their back on you. So, anyways, hope you get something out of it. If you did, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Uh, you can always reach me at x 
cooperx at protonmail.com. Something else I want you guys to remember before I go. Please don't steal. The government does not like competition. Have a great day, guys.